Hey guys, today I have this RCA surround sound system. Now these are those really crappy things that, uh, you know, you've everyone, you know, you, you, you always know that one person that has a set of these. There you go, there's your model information. RT2350. These are, uh, I tried looking up as much as I could. As far as I can tell, they're rated for 50 watts, but they must have had 300 on the box. I finally went out and bought more speakers. These subwoofers are actually really fun to mess around with. I recommend if you come across one of these subwoofers to pick it up. They're really fun. They can take quite a bit of power and they actually sound decent at lower volumes. As long as you give it enough power. Alright, I'm going to save the center channel speaker. I'm pretty sure they're all exactly the same, but I'm going to save that one for inside. Took a little chunk out in the corner. Oh wow! We're already inside and we can see our speaker driver. Well, that's about what I expected. Actually, a little bit more. Alright. There's our first little driver. Not too bad. <laughs> that was a good hit. There we go. Oh, we got the speaker driver out. I'm pretty sure that it already broke the speaker. Yep, I already knocked the speaker. It's just loose in there. Got another. Wait, what is this? This one has a capacitor on it. It's squished, but what the hell? <laughs> that one came right apart. Oh, this one has a capacitor on it as well. Interesting. There's the inside of the box. There's the outside. It's even got some advanced sound materials here. There we go. Alright, here you go. This is the most exciting part. The subwoofer. Whoa! No wonder this thing actually sounded half decent. Look at the subwoofer. That's actually not too bad. Now let's see how much this thing takes. Okay, I have to stop for a second and wonder. Right here, it's just powered subwoofer. There's nothing on here that indicates that there's a power amplifier. It's just raw inputs.
Oh, I took the sticker off. Saving that. Oh, there's your subwoofer. was disappointing. What? It didn't even smoke or anything. Oh, coil's definitely gone. Ooh, yeah, that's, uh, it cooked it. Another interesting thing is that these speakers, this one says 15 to 30 watts, and some of the other ones, they say 30 to 50 watts. What is that supposed to mean? There's usually just a max power and that's what it's rated for. Alright, here's the center channel speaker. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the dust cap here in case it smokes a bit or does anything somewhat interesting. <laughs> Finally, something interesting, a huge cloud of smoke, and it actually caught on, well, it didn't catch fire, but it went red hot. Then. Oh, hoo -hoo. look at that. Vape Nation. Oh yes, it filled with smoke. Ooh, hoo -hoo. The whole box is filled with smoke and it's still coming out. Oh, oh it stinks. That's nasty. I'm gonna go for these ones since these have the higher power rating and a capacitor on them for whatever reason. But uh, as far as the capacitor goes. Okay, maybe it doesn't just come off like that. All right, we got another one over here hooked up this time. <laughs> a nice spark flew on and we got a little cloud of smoke. And she's locked up pretty tight. Oh yes, there's the smoke. Definitely burnt that coil right up. Took no effort. All right, we got another one hooked up now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, it looks like we have an early sacrifice. 
Hmm, it appears that while I was smashing it, I must have broke one of the leads going to the coil off. Nice little copper goldish coil. Alright, looks like we're moving on to the last little speaker. We got another one that I had to rip a capacitor off. This one is, again, 30 to 50 watts, whatever that's supposed to mean. This one's also a lucky survivor, considering it made it with some cone damage. At least I believe it made it, I can feel it vibrating because of the normal hissing that comes from PV amps. Alright, see what it does. Um, wow, that was sad. A little tiny spark and nothing else. All right, it's time for the most exciting one, the subwoofer. Now, I believe when I kicked this outside, I, I must have messed it up because uh, the whole thing is not aligned, and if I press on it, it grinds. But um, it'll do for my purposes. You can see an imprint of a coil already from when I kicked it, I guess. Wow! Okay, this is honestly more impressive than the Logitech subwoofer I did a while back, especially for being such a crappy whole thing was designed to be cheap, and this subwoofer is honestly impressive. form the coil it made its own little suspension around it around itself. Ooh, ow she definitely she's she's hot oh wow we actually removed the uh not sure if you can see it but we actually removed the whole cone and voice coil on of the spider in that case i should be able to just easily cut this right out <laughs> Not even cut it, just pull it right off. Oh wow, you can see what happened actually. It's still really warm. Hmm. Or maybe you can't. Something went wrong somewhere on here, but the whole coil, it looks... It looks just fine. I don't see any issues, really. There's like this whole line that goes around it, but I think that's just how it's made with the different coil layers. Weird. This whole video is disappointing. Every time I try and make an awesome video, it comes out really bad. Huh. I guess I'll have to move on to that giant Walmart subwoofer I have. Hit that subscribe button, because once I reach a thousand, this DWS-12 is going to go up in smoke. Brand new from Walmart. 